Good morning guys, evening, afternoon, middle of the night, what's up? Welcome to, is it good? We just review stuff and we get to it. So first up, we have our first product on this channel, which is a food scale by the brand Taylor. Digital kitchen scale, maximum 11 pounds. All right, so let's just jump straight into it. Like I said in my intro video, we'll be doing two video formats. One will be the longer, which is going to be this one, and then I'll also be making a short to accompany each and every video. So in case you don't have time to review something, to watch the whole video, you can just watch the short, plain and simple. All right, so with the Taylor scale, we'll first review the packaging. Right now, everything looks pretty solid. Like, I bought it right off the shelf in Target. I didn't order this one to my house, so I guess probably that's why it's in such a good shape. <laughs> but everything seems fine, yeah. All right, let's open it up. All right, inside the box comes pretty, pretty secure. All right, and they have batteries. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive because a lot of things don't include batteries. All right, we have our scale. Let's put the batteries in. So I just want to cut back, batteries go in the back, and it looks, appears to be triple A. So three triple A batteries that come included. Um, what brand is this? I actually don't know. Oh. XZ Energy. Interesting. Okay. All right, with the batteries in, put the back back on. Ah, I was going to stop. And there we go. We have our scale. Normally, we would read instructions, but those are for losers. Let's get to it. So I assume, actually, you know what? I don't know how to use this. I guess I'm a loser then. Let's read these instructions. All right, simple. Right now, as you guys know, the scale is not zero. That's why it's giving a negative number. So we just press the tear button. Wait. Make sure it's flat. Tear. It's now zeroed. Yeah, there we go. And then we can switch the units. Fluid ounces, milliliters, grams, pounds and ounces. All right, so let me go get something and we can weigh. All right, I wiped down the surface, which you should always do when you get products that you're going to be putting food on. Um, and I grabbed some stuff. So we have water and food that lying around. All right, so let's turn this back on. Also, sorry if my editing's all over the place. I'm trying to figure something out. I'll polish it over time. Just have some patience, please. <laughs> all right. So, uh, all right. So, different angle because I didn't want to switch it up. I'm um, sorry if my editing's all over the place. I'm new to this and it's just for reviews. Nothing really big anyway. And I just wanted to be able to get stuff out. All right. So first, we're going to switch it to fluid ounces. Well, zero it out first. Switch it to fluid ounces, and let's see. This is a regular bottle of water. It should be, what, 16.9? 16.9. All right. 18.2. Interesting. I'm assuming the bottle adds in however many it adds to equal the, uh, the amount to make it off, because obviously the bottle has its own weight with the cap and everything. All right, so let's switch it out. Real good use of scales, obviously, for food management, especially for food like this, where you have to do one ounce. It's not as simple as one cup, one tablespoon, which it probably does have its equivalent value where you could get like a tablespoon of this or half a cup and it'll be equal to an ounce. Some people, like me, want the exact measurement. So let's pour some out and let's see if we can get that ounce going. All righty, here we go. I might have enough left for an ounce. There we go. Roughly an ounce because I assume this is pounds. That's ounces, so one pound and how many ounces? Blah, 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 blah. All right. So, there we go. Yeah. 16 ounces is a pound. Seems about right. But the thing that's getting me is that this, every time I press it and the number goes up. Oh, no, it's stabilized. Okay. 
So yeah, that is a serving of this. Just about a little bit over because, you know, don't have steady hands. I'm only one-handed right now. So far, the scale seems like it's accurate. All right. So now, purpose of the scale. Measuring foods for when you need to... Uh, I don't think that's going to work. All right, now time for the recap of the scale. Packaging overall, it came pretty solid. Everything was secure, so we'll give that a 10 out of 10. Setup took me about 10 seconds with the batteries included. I didn't have to go out and buy extra batteries, so I'll give that a 10 out of 10 as well. So, so far, we're at a score of 20 out of 30. And then usage and accuracy of it, it seems pretty accurate. This is something I'm going to be using every day, so I wanted to make sure I get a video out there because I know with the New Year's just rolling around, a lot of people are starting the gym, worry about counting calories and measuring their food out to be exact. So I give this product a solid 10 out of 10. It's a simple scale. You don't need much else than this. And I think this will be enough for me to help me and use it daily. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And we gotta before we go, we got to answer the question. Is it good? And I say, heck yeah, it is good. All right. Have a nice day, guys.